welcome on board my big truck. Um, for those of you who know me personally, you know that I'm a sports car kind of guy. I'm totally not a truck kind of guy, but go figure. Now I'm waiting for iRacing to implement Oculus Rift DK2 support, and, and I need my fix of driving something, man. So when I heard that Euro Truck Simulator 2 had built-in Oculus Rift support that was working with a DK2, I had to comply and get myself a copy of this wonderful software. If I understand properly, I have to get out of here, go right, 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 and then left. Anyways, I'm going to see all this stuff happen on my GPS as I get out of here. Um, I have to make a note that, like I said, those who know me personally know I'm a sports car kind of guy. I'm not just a sports car kind of guy. I'm a small vehicle kind of guy. I can, I can drive or fly or control anything that's small. When it gets too big, I'm the exact opposite. I go from like, you know, I can drive a race car really fast, but I cannot drive a truck for shit. I cannot fly a six-seater plane. I cannot operate a large boat. I just, it's not like I wasn't born with the, I guess because I'm a tiny human being, I need to operate tiny machinery. Anyways, uh, okay, so I'm gonna be late on this job here. I'm actually, I actually got a job, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my sequential shifter here. Get the hell out of here. So, I, I like this so far to the point where I, I did not expect this, uh, but Euro Truck Simulator is one cool piece of software. This is no ambulance simulator level quality. This is actually really good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually impressed. Now what I have to do is just take my turn wide like a real truck, right? So it's no cars coming. Uh, I gotta take my turn extra wide here and watch my car go as well in the mirror. Everybody's gonna wait for me. The drivers are actually quite nice here. Here, look at this. This guy's actually waiting for me. Thank you very much. And I gotta shift my gears. Downshift my gears. Am I third, second? first all right i don't know if a truck operates exactly like that uh i think i have to take a left here i'm always looking for my flasher that's what's funny uh, i mean i want to do this properly whoa 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 dude you barely stopped i'm i'm and this guy just okay so i need to learn how to use my turn signals obviously nobody seems to be appreciating my way of driving and I need to enable my H shifter as well because I'm using my paddle shifter. I thought it was going to be a good idea. It's not bad. The problem being is that while I'm steering, I uh, sort of lose track of my paddles and then things don't go so well for me. E2. All right, let's stand two. I believe I have to go left here. Right, nobody screwed me here. There we go. I, I kept my paddle in my hands to keep up shifting as I turn. All right, I believe this will be my docking station. I hope they didn't make it too difficult. Fourth gear. Third gear. All right. Probably do this. I can't see my RPMs. I swear they let me a different truck now, so I'm a little mixed up. Right, I'll go as far as I can not to hit the... Ah, uh, shit, I'm hitting the gate. I'm hitting the gate. I'm hitting the gate. And let's go in rear. See, this, this is where I am... This is where I will lack skill with this type of thing. Alright, so what I'm going to try to do here... Boy, is this ever so tedious. I, I will obviously steer the opposite way so I don't come in contact with anything. I'm going to try to go to the right of that building there. Holy shit. I, I, I warned you. 
I am awful with this. Oh shit! And that's that's. Oh my god! Now I'm in a predicament. <laughs> Holy crap! Holy shit! Sorry. I really hope there are no cars back there. I do not see any. That is a good thing. All right. Gonna straighten out. God damn it! And this is this is not obvious because my steering wheel is not represented properly in the game. In the in the simulator. Easy, easy, easy does it. All right, I got this. 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 Yeah, I got it. I got it. I'm clearing. Well, that's one of the harder spots they've given me so far. I better be at the right place. My GPS doesn't seem to be saying so. Not too sure why I went in here. Is this it? Yes, that's it. Got it. Alright. So at least I didn't make a complete fool out of myself. Alright, I'm clear. Alright, now, this is where you don't want to screw it up, otherwise you're going to have a really difficult time. I want to straighten out in front of this spot. So I'm going to go real slow here. Call me a grandma if you want. This is a fucking truck simulator. I don't got no race to win other than my delivery time. I do not want to screw up straightening out this goddamn trailer. Is the more straight you get it, the less work you gotta do trying to back it up in there. All right, here goes nothing. Now, this is a little weird, but as soon as I pass a certain threshold, I can actually see outside the truck. So here we go. If I recall properly, I have my microphone going right now. So when I turn around, you, you can still hear me. Because I was just thinking about that. I was like, fuck, man. When I turn around, the camera's not pointed at me. The camera's pointed the other way. All right, here we go. I believe it's straightened out. See, this is this is where I'm not so cool with the representation of steering in this game. I've been trying to toy with that and get a one-to-one -one reaction. Okay, I got it this time. Ah, uh, shit! The other way, the other way, the other way. I have no idea what just fell on my table. That's one of the most annoying things in VR when you have objects on your table that decide they want attention, and it's just not the time for that to happen. Because you're like trying to park a fucking truck. Come on, I got this. I don't got this? How don't I got this? Yeah! That's right! That's right. Okay, what the hell fell? I, I so hate, like, this is going to be a whole lot of stuff we're going to learn from VR. This. A box of fucking glosettes. Who the fuck cares about you? I was fucking parking a truck. Yeah, that's the kind of thing in VR. You want to have a clear table. You don't want to have the coat hanger. You see what I'm holding in my hand here? I call this the coat hanger. And the DK1 had the same problem. The wire is so stiff. It can literally clear a coffee table. If you're not being careful, this can eliminate things on your table. Especially if you're in something this immersive and you're absolutely not paying attention to your real environment, things like that will happen uh, because you're just too busy enjoying yourself in your software, some shit's gonna fall. But this is really, really, really a good VR experience, by the way. This is where I have to get to. Um, it is really awesome. So uh, my only problem right now is my setup. I'm still not done rearranging everything in here. So I actually need to go reach my mouse and all my shit on the right. Yeah, I need to go get my mouse and my keyboard on the right end of the room. So uh, this is a very short uh, little look at Euro Truck Simulator. And, uh, I'm I'm impressed. It's a fun title. It's really if you have a DK2, this is really worth playing. Uh, in fact, I think I've already raked up two hours in it, uh, plus this 
little uh, first impressions video. So uh, this is going to get more use than I originally planned. I thought this was going to be like a time filler. Uh, you know, while while they get everything sorted out with the DK2 and more support comes in, uh, you know, like, okay, well, this will fill the gap, right? Well, this is more than a gap filler. This is actually going to be one of my VR activities. Uh, it's sort of demystifying the 10-wheeler for me. Uh, it's sort of giving me confidence that it may not be that bad at operating heavy machinery after all. Uh, and, and I've read reviews from other people, especially on the Steam uh, store page, and it seems to be what people are going for. They're all surprised that they bought something that they thought was going to be like a, just a fun little waste of time, and it turns out it's a far more serious waste of time than originally planned. And then you look at people's play times, and you can't help but think, even just at a glance, that it's a pretty good simulator. And uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta say, with the the steering wheel and the pedals, it gets very realistic, aside from that steering wheel position problem, uh, everything works really well, and uh, it's, a, it's worth purchasing right now for the DK2. Uh, so for the first time on the video, you see my motion tracker, it's on top of the television right there, it's a temporary arrangement. This room is right now a complete catastrophe of a mess, because I'm actually emptying out shelves, leaving the shit in the floor in order to move the shelves, and then get this setup modified so that's more, not just VR friendly, but 3D friendly. It's been a while, you might have noticed, I didn't film the actual screen while I'm playing the game in 3D. I uh, want to do that again, that was kind of cool because it gives you an idea of the, uh, the out of window illusion that you do get from the game properly uh, when the camera is filming in 3D in the context of the room with the 3D screen there, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna be bringing that capability back to a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, these controls have to be primarily sitting right in front of the VR station and not to the left of it, which is right now a mess. Whenever I wanna use the keyboard and a game with the keyboard, I have to go back to the other station. In fact, my first playthrough, this simulator was on the keyboard. I learned how to dock a 10-wheeler with a fucking keyboard. It is not easy, do not try it, it is not fun. Much better with this even though it's not a one-to-one -one movement relationship, it's still much better with this. But yeah, when in the game I'm steering sideways, but in reality it's upside down, so I'm looking for my shift keys here. So I'll need to use the, um, the, the, the shifter here instead. It's probably gonna go much better and feel more truck-like. I was going to think of using this as the blinker now, because I guess, I guess I can use these for the blinkers. Anyways, we'll figure stuff out here because this is a really good piece of software and it deserves getting a better customized adjustment on the hardware level. Uh, and also it deserves an SDK update, just like every other piece of Oculus software I've tried so far. There's, it runs well, but there's missing frames there that there, there, there just shouldn't be. Uh, I think it has to do with positional tracking. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't established like a, a a very simple way of reproducing this 100%. It's it's fluctuant. It, like the longer you run the software, the more obvious it becomes. So there's there's issues there that still need to be worked out, and they are present here as well. However, considering these issues are present right now, the experience is awesome. Uh, it's already great. So can't wait for the. Uh, updates on the SDK and um, I'm gonna be going through more pieces of software but I am being reluctant with some of them because I know there's gonna be that much better with an SDK update so we're we're all of it with the DK2 in a waiting mode right now but there are a lot of good things to do with it right now like the, the Euro Truck Simulator so hope you enjoyed see you next time